Okay, so we're just gonna to try to give you a lot of time here to make the changes cleanly here. So we're coming out of our intro and we're straight into a C chord. It's written out for you, the chord progression. And we're going down, down, up, down, and change, 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 down, up, down, and change. thing is going like down, down, up, down, and down, down, up, down, and down, down, up, down, and down. So when you get to the next chord, once you've got your fingers in place, you'll be ready for the next down. So you can kind of hear, you know, where the next one should land. Mm -hmm. So that's going to just give you a bit more time to take the changes out of it, to get to take the frustration out of the changes. And I guess it's a matter, a lot of these rhythms have a bit of a swing to them, right? So you always want to get that kind of floating vibe, not so much down, down, up, down, not too robotic, you mm -hmm. know? feel the swing in the music. You know, just like when we were doing this, you know, you started to get into it and it kind of just starts to bounce a little bit. Yeah, because these are, not all these things are technical. A lot of these things are feel. Yeah. They're a knack. It's a feeling knack, right? You sort of get it. You get, ah, it feels like. Instead of going, oh, it's down. It's gotta be down, down, up, down. No, it's gotta be right. <laughs> so the feeling, so just mess around with it and get into the feeling of, of that rhythm on that one. And it's the same with um, Heart of Gold, um, coming out of the... So just down, down, up, change, down, up. That little up stroke is the change factor. Down. And then you just got to make sure, the only real problem there is that C chord, you just got to get that guy out of it, you know? So with the right hand, you've got to be careful at that point, down, down, up. Even if there's a bit of a pause, just do it. If it means you can get onto that fifth string, see what I do is my finger catches that sixth string so it won't even play if, I want, if, if it wanted to, right? So that's a little knack, that's a little feel thing that you pick up and you can, you know, you can work towards that. But if I tell you to do that, and we talk about that technically, it's too much, you Confusing, know. Yeah. So first step is just to target the right hand on the fifth string. Just like you're targeting the D string from the fourth string. I mean, you're not hitting those guys on the D string. So what's stopping us from just not hitting it on that one? You know, it's just like that, okay? And what it is, is that the flip into the C chord is hard. So you just have to, just even muscle that out a few times, even before you have a go at playing it. Just get the left hand moving like that, right? Okay, cool.